The radii of two cones are in the ratio 2 is to 1. Their volumes are equal. Find the ratio of their heights. Now it is said that the volumes of these two cones are equal. So I can say that the ratio of the volumes is 1. So V1 by V2 is equal to 1 by 1. I can say that. Right. Now we have been given the ratio of the radii of these two cones. So I can say R1 by R2 is equal to 2 by 1. Right. And we have to find the ratio of their heights. So we have to find H1 by H2. So this V1 by V2 can be written as 1 by 3 pi R1 square H1 upon 1 by 3 pi R2 square H2. And that is equals to 1 by 1. Okay, this one third and this one third cancels out. This pi and this pi cancels out. Right. So we have R1 by R2 whole square times H1 by H2 is equals to 1 by 1. Okay. Now what is R1 by R2? Well, R1 by R2 is 2 by 1. So basically we have 2 square times H1 by H2 is equals to 1 by 1. Okay. So I can write H1 by H2 is equals to this 2 square comes down on the right hand side. So I have 1 by 2 square and 2 square is actually 4. So H1 by H2 is 1 by 4. That means the ratio of the heights is 1 is to 4. So option B is the correct answer. What is the volume of the largest right circular cone that can be cut out of a cube of edge 7 centimeters? Okay, let us consider that this is your cube. Now you want to cut out a cone from that. So this is your cone that is cut out from that. And this is the largest cone that can be cut out from that. Now if this cone has to be the largest cone that can be cut out from this cube, its diameter should be equal to the edge of this cube. Right, so this should be equal to 7. And the height of this cone should also equal to the edge of this cube. So this should also be equal to 7. Now we want the volume of this cone. Well, we have the height and the diameter. We can calculate the volume. So the volume is equal to 1 by 3rd pi r square h, isn't it? So this is 1 by 3 into pi is 22 by 7 times r square. Well, the diameter is 7. The radius will be 7 by 2. So this is 7 by 2 times 7 by 2. That's r square times what is height? Height is 7. Okay. So this 7 and this 7 cancels out. We have 1 by 3 times 22 times 7 times 7 divided by 2 times 2. Uh, let's keep it as it is. So 2 times 11 is 22. So we have 11 times 7 7 is 49 divided by 3 2 is 6. Right. And when calculated that will give you 89.83 and the unit will be centimeters cube. So that's the volume. Option B. A cylinder with base radius of 8 cm and height of 2 cm is melted to form a cone of height 6 cm. What will be the radius of the cone? Well, the cylinder is melted to form a complete cone. So I can say that the volume of cylinder is equal to the volume of the cone. Right. So volume of cylinder is pi r square h right and the volume of a cone is one third pi times uh, let it be r c square h c okay now we have to find out the height of the cone and we have been given the other values so basically this pi and this pi gets cancelled out we have r square h of the cylinder the radius of the cylinder is 8 so this is 8 times 8 times the height of the cylinder is 2. So times 2 is equals to 1 by 3 times we have to find out the radius of the cone. Let it be r. So this is r square times the height of the cone is given that's 6. So times 6. 3 times 2 is 6. So this 2 and this 2 cancels out. We have r square is equals to 8 times 8. So r square is equals to 8 square. 
So I can say R is equal to 8 centimeter. So the radius is 8 centimeter. That is option D. A solid cylindrical block of radius 12 centimeter and height 18 centimeter is mounted on a conical block of radius 12 centimeter and height 5 centimeter. What is the total lateral surface of the solid thus formed? So this is the composite shape that is formed. And we have been asked what is the total lateral surface of the solid. That means we have been asked what is the total surface area of this composite solid. Well the total surface area of this solid will be equals to the area of this gray portion plus the area of this bluish portion plus the area of this black portion. Well this gray area is basically the curved surface area of the cone. This bluish area is the curved surface area of the cylinder and this black region or the black area is basically the area of the base of the cylinder. Right. So we need to calculate all of these areas and then add up them. So this total surface area is equal to what's the formula for calculating the curved surface area of a cone? Well, that is pi r l plus what is the formula for calculating the curved surface area of a cylinder? That's 2 pi r h and plus what's the base? Well, base is basically a circle. So this is pi r square. Now h is the height of the cylinder and L is the slant height of the cone and the radius is basically the same for the cylinder and the cone as well. Well, we don't know this slant height of the cone. So let's calculate that. So L is equals to under root of R square plus H square. This is only with respect to the cone. So this is under root of what is the radius of the cone? Well, the radius of the cone is 12 centimeters. So this is 12 square plus what is the height of the cone? Well, it's 5 centimeters so 5 square. So the slant height of the cone is 13 centimeter. So I have area equals to, let us take pi r common. So I have pi r into L plus 2h plus r, right? So this is um, pi is 22 by 7 times the radius is common. That's 12 into L is 13 plus height of the cylinder is 18 centimeter. So I have twice of h and twice of 18 is 36 and plus the radius we can take any of the radius that's 12 right so this is equals to now if you solve 22 times 12 times 61 you will get 16104 divided by 7 and this when solved will give you a value around 2300 point something something now this value is not there in our options so the appropriate choice would be none of these